For those of you who've been following my videos for a while, you'll know that I talk a lot about taxes and planning. Your tax burden, tax is tax, tax deductible, tax credit, tax credit, not tax time, tax advantages, tax practices grow tax-free after all taxes are considered. Now I'm going to turn my attention to investing, starting with the debate between passive and active investing. This battle's been raging for many years now, but I want to give you my practical and down-to-earth view on why passive investing is the way to go. Over the next few videos, I'll highlight some of the core concepts that underlie the passive investing movement and why I think they make sense. To set the stage, there are two main areas that deserve our attention in this debate. The first area of discussion is a rational and academic assessment of whether stock markets are or are not efficient. In other words, can you or I beat the market by picking stocks? And if markets are efficient, to what extent? The second focus will be on ourselves as irrational or normal human beings, as opposed to the perfectly rational optimizers that classical economists assume we all are. I'll also discuss how that hinders us from being able to take advantage of whatever market inefficiencies there might be. Before we dive into the nuts and bolts of these two areas, let's first define what I mean by passive investing. Passive investing is an evidence-based approach to building a portfolio of thousands of companies without making any predictions about the future. In contrast, active portfolio management focuses on outperforming the market compared to a specific benchmark. So what do I mean by evidence-based? Every manager in the world will say that they have evidence that they can pick the best stocks. So let's agree on what qualifies as evidence. Liking the CEO or the products a company makes is not evidence. That the company has a cool brand and is all over Facebook and Twitter is also not evidence. That somebody's done a lot of research and knows management really, really well is still not evidence. Evidence is when a methodology for choosing companies based on hard numbers has been tested across 50, if not 100 years of market data. Evidence is rigorously tested to make sure that it's statistically significant and not just random chance. In other words, it's tested according to scientific best practices and not just rules of thumb or hunches. When you look at the evidence, active managers simply aren't capable of consistently beating the market. In my next few videos, I'll walk through some concepts on the rational side of the debate that explain why markets are so efficient. After that, I'll take a look inward at the behavioral biases that affect us all and challenge our ability to make perfectly rational decisions. So stay tuned and let me know what you think.